Women of Arunachal Pradesh, our women are no doubt beautiful, intelligent, yes, beauty with brains. Uh, this year has been a tremendous year where many women have made us proud, reigning the uh, pageants all over, be, uh, be it uh, young girls or married women, all of them has made us so proud. So today you are tuned into CDCN and our guest today is someone, a very young, beautiful and talented uh, girl who has again made us so proud by winning the most coveted title of the Northeast, Sun Silk Mega Miss Northeast 2018. We have Mariam Longri with us here in the studio today. So Mariam, welcome to our studio. Thank you. And uh, since uh, you have uh, won the most coveted title, not only of the state but the entire Northeast, comprising of eight states, the eight most beautiful girls of all the states and you have won it and have made us all very proud. So Mariam, today we want to know something more about you. So could you tell us something more about you? Okay. I think I'm a very simple girl, mm -hmm. but when it comes to passion, I think I'm very passionate. Mm -hmm. If I have something in my life which I'm very serious about, I think I'll be extremely devoted to it. I'll work hard towards it, you know. I think I give my 100% to a thing I'm serious about, that's mm. it. That's great. And Mariam, like I said, you are a new face now in Arunachal Pradesh, a new beautiful face which people would like to know. And since you've already, like I mentioned, made us so proud in the uh, Sun Silk Mega Miss Northeast, I watched your interviews, I watched uh, many bites of yours. You were super confident and beautiful. So Mariam, we want to know more about you. So could you tell us like where did you did your schooling, yeah. where you uh, were you born and brought up? Um, I did my schooling in Arnachal itself, mm -hmm. and now I'm in Donipolo mm -hmm. School, Arnachal. I'm in grade 12 now. Okay, grade 12. And uh, it's uh, not very polite to ask the age of girls, but since uh, we have read, you are only uh, 16, 17 running, yes? yes? yes. So uh, it's, uh, we are surprised and so proud of you that at the age of 16, you have won this a uh, big the most, I think, coveted and the biggest pageant of Northeast. When I was 16 or 17, I didn't know how to tame my brows also, and there you are winning the biggest pageant. So, Mariam, uh, what made you uh, participate in the pageant? Were you interested in modeling or were you interested in pageant? What made you participate was, in that? I was always inter interested in pageants okay. or wherever, you know, I could mm -hmm. express and voice my feelings. Okay. I think pageantry is such a wonderful platform for girls mm -hmm. because Although we are in 2018, mm -hmm. we still, you know, people don't give mm -hmm. attention to young mm -hmm. girls, mm -hmm. young minds, basically. Mm -hmm. But pageantry is such a st uh, such a wonderful platform where you know girls, ac people actually listen to girls speak. Mm -hmm. You know, they give them time, ask them questions like, "What do you have in your mind?" Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm a very person. I'm a person who's very, you know. Expressive. Okay. So that was my thing to uh, do. And that even worked for you, I think. And. Uh, Talking about the pageant again, since you said that you're interested in pageantry world. So before participating in uh, Mega Miss Northeast, did you participate in any other events or pageant in our state here? Yeah, I did. I, pa I participated in two more pageants. Okay. When I was, I guess, 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was 15, 16, I participated in two pageants. Okay. I was underage, but I still <laughs> participated because it was a local show. Okay. I think girls who are interested in, you know, Basically everyone, not just girls, boys, girls, anybody who's interested mm -hmm. in anything. Like if you're interested in entertainment mm -hmm. or, you know, anything, mm -hmm. you just, you have to be prepared when you're young because this is the time you prepare mm -hmm. yourself, you work hard towards it and then mm -hmm. you achieve it when you're older. Mm -hmm. That just makes you more polished. Mm -hmm. That is why they say catch them young, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. So uh, we did not see you in like, uh, like, uh, those pageants were in your hometown, I think. So we did not see you in uh, like Miss Nefar, the most talked about pageants here, Miss Nefar, Miss Arunachal, and then you are there uh, buzzing all around and surprising everyone, a uh, very good surprise, and making us uh, very uh, proud uh, by uh, winning this title. I think you are the first Arunachali yes, girl yes. to win Miss Northeast. So I think we should congratulate you once again. Congratulations you. on uh, creating a history, yes. 
because you are the first Aruna Arunachali girl having represented, uh, not represented, many girls have represented and, and they have done very well, mm -hmm. but you are the first girl of our state to win this uh, mega title of the uh, Northeast. So, um, Mm, Mariam, tell me how uh, did you expect to win this title and how was your reaction when you finally won it? You know, the thing about me is I never expect anything. <laughs> like, I'm never prepared, you know, I'm ne never prepared for victory. I'm mm -hmm. always prepared for defeat. Mm -hmm. I feel like that because even in Mega Miss North, this, you know, mm -hmm. doesn't matter whatever I'm doing, I'm always pre mm -hmm. prepared for my defeat because mm -hmm. you have to prepare that mm -hmm. because you cannot. I don't know, it's never been in me, you know, to prepare for victory. <laughs> because when I participated, I actually went to Guwahati with my mm -hmm. parents, right? And they're mm -hmm. so supportive. Mm -hmm. I went there and I prepared, basically prepared for my defeat. And I was it's mm -hmm. okay, you're gonna walk out. Mm -hmm. You can come again next year. And if mm -hmm. you don't win, you can come the other year. <laughs> you have so much of time. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean I prepared, I did not prepare for my, you know, mm -hmm. I did not prepare for my show. I did prepare for it. I gave my 100%. Mm -hmm. But then again, in the back of my mind, I was like, you know, even if you don't mm -hmm. win, mm -hmm. just experience mm -hmm. and, you know, enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's uh, very nice coming from you. And uh, yes, uh, talking about pageantry in our state. Yes, our state has evolved. Our society mm -hmm. has evolved beautifully and have been accepting so many new things which the youths are uh, like interested in. Many parents have become so supportive these days. But then there are also few sects of uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, parents who are like. It's not like they're not supportive, but they're uh, quite uh, like reluctant to send their uh, uh, children or mm -hmm. send them to like pageant. Because for many of them, like we discussed uh, earlier before the interview, pageant is modeling, right? They mm -hmm. don't know the difference, like they can't figure out the difference between both of them. So coming to that later, first I would like to know from Mariam that how were your parents, uh, like were they supportive uh, in uh, for you joining the pageantry and uh, yeah, going till the Miss Northeast since you were very young also. So how were your parents and relatives support? My parents mm -hmm. are very extremely supportive and okay, kind people, how nice. but that does not mean that they were <laughs> just like that from the beginning. Okay. You have to, as a kid, you have to build up, you know, you have mm -hmm. to build up the trust. Mm -hmm. You have to show them that you can do, mm -hmm. achieve stuff. Mm -hmm. Only then they will trust you. Mm -hmm. You cannot just, they will not magically trust you on such a huge thing. Mm -hmm. I, as I told you, I mm -hmm. did two pageants before mm -hmm. and I won them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I have to win the title, but mm -hmm. I was a uh, mm -hmm. I was a first runner up mm -hmm. and a winner. Mm -hmm. And then they started, you know, gaining. Then I started gaining the trust, and then they mm -hmm. were like, "Yes, I can do something." Mm -hmm. And of course, if they're they're your parents, they will want you to succeed in life, achieve something. So they will support you. Mm -hmm. You just have to build their trust. Okay, so you uh, you won the crown. You won the trust of your parents, and uh, keeping that trust alive, you won the biggest title of the. Um, Pageant uh, title of the Miss Northeast also. So, uh, Mariam, I would also like to ask you here that uh, wha uh, how was the journey in the Mega Miss Northeast uh, pageant? I think it's one of the you have participated in the pageants before. You had experience before in pageants. So this is a mega thing. Like many, all the Northeast, all the girls of Northeast are participating. The best girls of Northeast are participating. Sure. Tell us in brief your journey to Mega Miss uh, Northeast 2018. Mega Miss Northeast journey it was very memorable and mm -hmm. it was a beautiful journey because mm -hmm. I studied, you know, mm -hmm. outside. I mean, I was always in a boarding school, mm -hmm. so I never had much experience of people, you know. Mm -hmm. I had experience of people, you know, but different people, like, mm -hmm. we, it takes time for us to adjust, right? Mm -hmm. But there there were people from Manipur, mm -hmm. Mizoram, mm -hmm. Sikkim, mm -hmm. all over Northeast. Mm -hmm. And the girls, they're so spontaneous, so mm -hmm. hardworking, mm -hmm. and, you know, beautiful in their own way. Yes. And kind of different, but then we all adjusted in our place. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful journey, but the people, girls who are interested in pageantry, I would like mm -hmm. to tell them that it can be very nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. and you have to have an anchor mm -hmm. for your ship, mm -hmm. you know? And they were obviously my parents and my sisters. They were very supportive. When you know times can you know be really nerve wracking, mm -hmm. you have to have that mm -hmm. support in you, mm -hmm. the base. That, that support system is very very vital, right? Yes. And um, Mariam, when you represented uh, uh, yourself in Mega Miss Northeast, 
you were not representing yourself, you were representing not your family, mm -hmm. you were representing our state, our natural Pradesh. So what impact could you have on your friends? What did you learn from the cultures of other states as well? And you were an ambassador of our state at that time. So what could you, uh, uh, what role did you play as an ambassador of Northeast, being the uh, representative of our natural and there in Northeast? <laughs> Okay. Um, I guess I just I was myself. Okay. Okay. I was just myself. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I represented our natural, mm -hmm. and it was a nice thing. I just you know me and my friends, mm -hmm. the our naturally con contestants, yes. we were together, and every girl was you know showing. They were all showing their tradition, and we were doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I guess we all all alike. It's just you know states okay. is differentiating us. Inside we all are the same okay. because we. Would, talk at night, be with each other, mm -hmm. it's just the same thing. Okay, that's beautiful. And coming on to, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. which uh, I told you I'll be coming later, yes, let's come to that now, uh, pageantry and modeling. So people often get confused. They say that and people, many of them, are like they think that you're a pretty face, you have worn a pageant, mm -hmm. and then you're a model, right? That's what many people think. And we have had a lovely contestants uh, here before, uh, I have had Osin Mosu, I have had uh, Tenzing here, who are such beautiful girls, and uh, they're beautiful inside and out, and I could really see in their personality that pageant transform a girl, a lady so beautifully, and it's not just about pretty face. Mm -hmm. So your take on that about beauty uh, pageants or any pageant? You want me to differentiate between beauty pageant and modeling yeah you can uh, talk about that like if uh, many people are confused yeah mm -hmm. if they if they think that you have worn a beauty pageant they think that you are just into modeling so if you if you would like to share something uh, on that beauty pageants and modeling are not the same thing mm -hmm. because you know in modeling you're promoting a brand mm -hmm. you know you're promoting a brand you're a professional person, but beauty pageant is different. It's entirely different. You get to inspire people. You get to voice out your opinions. It's a huge deal, you know, and people, they look up to you. You can make a change. That's what's different between mod mm -hmm. modeling and beauty pageant. They're not the same thing at all. Because <laughs> I'm an experienced person in pageantry and I've never done modeling before. Although people usually, you know, point me out as a person, as a model, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm not a model. I'm a <laughs> Pageant girl, mm -hmm. that's my take on it. And pageants are like more about bringing out that personality in you. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more like a sport and yes, a competition, a very beautiful competition, yes, right? Yes. So I also would like to ask you, like I've mentioned mm -hmm. my earlier beautiful guest before who have uh, worn uh, pageants before, that uh, how has this pageant uh, transformed you as a person, like your participation, since from your, like you have participated in many pageants before and this biggest pageant mm -hmm. of your life maybe t uh, yes, so true. far. So how has that changed your uh, personality as a person individually? Mm, I guess I've improved a lot mm -hmm. in so many, <laughs> I've, you know, acquired so many traits like how to be like a lady basically. Okay. <laughs> because I'm, my personality, I'm very spontaneous and, mm. you know, I'm basically very wild, <laughs> but <laughs> it polished me, just like it polished all the girls. It mm -hmm. taught us how to be, you know, more girly, mm -hmm. I guess, more soft, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, it just not the pageantry, like even mm -hmm. our time during the pageantry. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's like so many beautiful girls mm -hmm. come up from, mm -hmm. you know, all the eight states, mm -hmm. you know, and the best girls come there. Mm -hmm. And you look around, you feel mm. so insecure. <laughs> you're like, they all are so pretty and I'm just here, you know, like a potato. <laughs> but that's not true. Because, you know, what's inside of you, I think that's the most beautiful thing. And we should just embrace it because inside we all are the same. It's just that, you know, all the girls are nervous. Mm -hmm. But trust me, when I won the title, everybody was congratulating me. None of them were sad. They were all, you know, so happy for me. I guess I met all the girls I met there, they were all so beautiful inside and out. I think now you have dropped all your insecurities yeah, because, sure. Mariam, you are a beautiful girl. You are very pretty, so you don't have to be insecure at all. And after winning the title, you dare not to be insecure at all. And the beauty pageant, like we said, it's not about only pretty face. Mm -hmm. It's all about combination of beauty with brains. Mm -hmm. And you have done it. You have won it and you have conquered it. So when you came back mm -hmm. uh, winning the title, 
uh, how were your parents' reaction? And especially you had a beautiful homecoming at your hometown. So how were the reactions of your people and your family? Obviously, they were very proud okay. because I'm the first girl from mm -hmm. my community, yes. Tansa community, mm -hmm. to win something in a, you know, mm -hmm. a state level. Mm -hmm. And they were very proud of me. And that's the time I felt like I could actually inspire people. Mm -hmm. And people who I don't even know, they always wish me luck mm -hmm. and, you know, happiness. Mm -hmm. That's such a good feeling, you know, mm -hmm. not just being known, but being known, and, you know, being liked and loved mm -hmm. by others. Mm -hmm. That's when I felt, you know, that's when I felt so blessed and lucky to be born, you know, in my community. Mm -hmm. I think they're extremely loving people. Mm -hmm. My parents, they were, nobody expected me at all because I've only done local pageants. <laughs> I've not even done, you know, mm -hmm. my own interstate level. I've just done local pageants, like festivals and stuff like that. But then when I won the state level pageant, they were really proud and not many people knew about me, but then they got to know about me. Okay, that's beautiful. And uh, Mariam, like I said, like you have participated in local pageants, which uh, like not many people knew about. Mm -hmm. And then there you are directly shifting towards the biggest pageant of the north is not only of the states so uh, like my curiosity was that and i uh, i am sure many of them are also curious like before plunging into the the biggest pageant of the northeast uh, uh, did you ever thought of taking part in the other state level competitions like uh, miss uh, nefa or miss arunachal okay my thoughts on that yes i I never thought about participating. Honestly, I never thought about mm -hmm. participating in Miss Nefa or Miss Arunachal. Mm -hmm. I know it's it's a very coveted title, but mm -hmm. still I did not because I've, I have always had my eye for Miss Mega Miss Norte. Okay. You <laughs> had that was, goal in yes. mind since uh, And before. as I told you, I'm a <laughs> very, you know, determined okay. and de mm, devoted very person. Great, great. I've literally watched all the videos in YouTube mm -hmm. from Mega Miss Norte. Okay. <laughs> yeah, since I was a kid, I was so determined. I was very, like, I have to uh -huh. be there. Mm -hmm. and, you know all the winners the former winners i you know i follow them and mm -hmm. i was like what is a thing mm -hmm. you know what does mm -hmm. it take to be mega miss northeast mm -hmm. like you know okay. what is the thing that they all have okay which i should acquire that's what i focused on what's uh, what's beautiful coming from you mariam is that mm -hmm. it's not just winning by chance mm -hmm. or by luck you have worked for it you have done quite a lot of research mm -hmm. like I've done which my is research. coming from you so that makes uh, that winning even more uh, beautiful you know for even for us to hear that it's not just you know winning by chance so that's very nice and beautiful coming from you so uh, congratulations on that again for being so determined and like a go-getter right yes so that's very nice and uh, what i would like also to know is that mariam many people would like to know after winning this uh, most coveted title the biggest pageant of the north is are you like planning to enter into more bigger pageants than uh, this? Are we going to see you in uh, Femina Miss India on uh, big, bigger pageants like that? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I'm quite underage for now, okay. but you might see me in 2019. Okay. I'm not sure because mm -hmm. I think that I'm so young and now I'm not re I don't really know about my future and I, I'm not really clear about my future, what mm -hmm. I want to do. As I told you, mm -hmm. only if I'm, you know, giving my 100% only then I reach, you know, achieve my goals. So I'm not so sure about pageantry anymore, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I want to do in my future. I think I've had my, you know, I've had my cup of tea. I'm quite satisfied at my title now. But uh, a very young and talented girl like you, you know, for all the viewers and for the all the uh, citizens, denizens of our natural Pradesh, we would like to see you in bigger pageants like that as well. And you have entire one year to decide mm -hmm. and to prepare. So we would like to see you soon in bigger pageants as well, Mariam. So um, now we have, uh, I have asked so much about Mariam as the pageant girl. Mm -hmm. So I want to know Mariam, how is Mariam as a normal girl? Uh, like what does she, what does she like? What does she do every day? Uh, honestly, I'm a very average girl with, you know, just like any girl has ideas. You know, mm -hmm. I want to become this. I want to become that. Mm -hmm. Even I had that as a kid. Mm -hmm. I was a very wild person. Mm -hmm. But then it's because I have extremely supportive and kind parents. Mm -hmm. You know, they gave wings to my dreams. Like mm -hmm. literally, because 
But it does just not mean that, you know, I just came up and then, mommy, I want to become this and that. Okay, mm -hmm. come on, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did my research and just like I told you, I did those. Mm -hmm. I'm a very normal person. The only thing which stands out about me is my supportive parents, I think. Okay, that's beautiful. I think your parents also, you know, uh, have a big share yes, in this title because uh, many parents, mm -hmm. you know, it's very important for parents to be supportive and let their uh, children dream what they want, right? Dream and achieve what they want. So kudos to your parents as well. If they are watching this, we are so proud of Mariam's parents as well. And uh, Mariam, uh, so now since you said that you have one year time, mm -hmm. so we would like to know what are you studying right now and uh, where are you studying? I'm studying in Doni Polo, okay. Vidya Bhavan. Mm -hmm. As I told you, I'm in grade, grade 12 mm -hmm. and I'm doing my humanities. Okay. So uh, since you said that you are quite uncertain about your future, mm -hmm. but at least there should be something like as a person, uh, I want to become this as a certain aim in life. Yes, I have a certain <laughs> aim in life. Okay. I have to work hard for that. <laughs> Let's see if I achieve that. Okay. I'm so you're going to sure. surprise us with that yes, again. Okay, sure. So. Yeah, we are ready for the surprise. And uh, Mariam? You have inspired many young ladies mm -hmm. of our state. You have won pageants. I, again, I'm repeating it again, the most coveted title of the North is you have won. So who inspires Mariam? Like, uh, is there anyone in the pageant world, since you follow pageant uh, so uh, diligently, is there someone in the pageant world who inspires you, your inspiration? I cannot name one, there are so many. Okay. But then, um, frankly, it's not, a, simple, a single person mm -hmm. who inspired me. It's the, uh, it's not the person. It's the title. Mm -hmm. You know, we beauty queens. Mm -hmm. Yes. May I say? Yeah, yeah. We, we, you know, we become the person we are. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we are the person we are before the crown. Mm -hmm. But we get to, you know, we open up, and we, you know, have this power to inspire others mm -hmm. after we get the receive mm -hmm. the crown. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a title which inspired me, you know. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many people change, you know, mm -hmm. from being a normal, simple girl mm -hmm. to being a queen after wearing the crown, mm -hmm. being so inspirational. Mm -hmm. So that person after wearing the crown, mm -hmm. that's what inspired me, not mm -hmm. a person. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a beautiful thought. And a very quirky question now, mm -hmm. Mariam. Uh, since uh, you go to school every day, mm -hmm. you meet a lot of people every day and you are you can accept that, okay? You were very uh, reluctant to call yourself a beauty queen. You are a beauty queen. So being a beauty queen, uh, how do people react to you when you go out? There are, I'm sure, many people who recognize you. So uh, do you get, uh, uh, have you, have you got, uh, got some perks of being a beauty queen, like in school or like when you go outside, people recognize you? How do you react to that? Um. Actually, they not they don't really recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're being humble. <laughs> yes, I think going to school is a very humbling thing. You know, <laughs> it makes you more humble. It's mm. a humble journey mm. to go to school every day. Mm. It just makes you more humble because in school, you know, you are not differentiated whether you are beauty queen or whether you are extremely good okay. dancer or professional singer. Mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. they just see how the legend, you know, how sincere you are in your studies. Uh, so, Mariam, uh, many girls, you know, uh, there are many girls who like who likes to participate in beauty pageant, and if not beauty pageant, also in everyday life, uh, you know, uh, girls' beauty, you know, the measures mm -hmm. of beauty has become so like competitive, and I think it has become very, uh, it has become limited to like uh, having a beautiful body. Beautiful body means a size zero body or a fair complexion or uh, you know a lean and thin uh, thin body so many girls out there are like many very young girls especially teenage girls mm -hmm. out there are into dieting are into you know they're so insecure many of them are insecure about their bodies if they're thin they're insecure if they're healthy they're insecure they're insecure about everything in fact so what advice would you like to give to th those girls who are really insecure about their and themselves and who don't feel beautiful enough which they are actually, but they don't feel beautiful enough. So what advice do you have for all those girls who uh, suffers from this inse insecurity complexes about themselves? I guess most, the girl, most of the girls, uh -huh. they, they think that beauty is equal to, you know, mm -hmm. happiness. Mm -hmm. That's wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. See, I was, in very, I was a very insecure girl myself, mm -hmm. trust me. And few insecurities, they will never leave you. Mm -hmm. If you compare 
insecure, uh, you know, your beauty with happiness, then, you know, you'll never be beautiful enough. You have to be healthy, you have to be happy, and then you'll be vibrant and then you'll be beautiful. Mm -hmm. A person, you know, many people, your friends, your family, your family won't, will never judge you about your looks, but if, you're, if you have a circle of friends and people you know who judge you and treat you based on your looks, and mm -hmm. that is just, you know, they just see your surface. Mm -hmm. They don't see the real you, right? Mm -hmm. You really need to build people, you need to build relations based on, you know, the person they're within, not just looks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So many people now, they, especially teenagers now, mm -hmm. I'm a teenager myself, <laughs> <laughs> but so many youngsters, they, it's become so toxic, you know, this beauty trend. You have to be beautiful, you have to be the most beautiful, you have to have the, you know, latest most beautiful bags and stuff like that even in school you know you have to look the prettiest mm -hmm. have the best hairband <laughs> stuff like that these are just small things but yeah these also count right and so many people i being myself as high school mm -hmm. girl it mm -hmm. matters so much you know for me to get new things every time i go to school mm -hmm. you know to have my parents you know have mm, having my parents buy me new stuff you know saying that my friends also got new stuff mm -hmm. i want new stuff too <laughs> It's wrong. You're doing your parents wrong and you're doing yourself wrong. You're gonna realize later then that these things don't matter, you know? Friendship which are built on mutual trust and understanding, that's what that's what's gonna be with you after you leave high school, after you get old. Mm -hmm. That's very true. So we have a very wrong concept mm -hmm. about what beauty is all yes. about. Beauty is all like it should come from within. It's mm -hmm. your personality, it's who you are. The beautiful person that you are makes you beautiful, which many girls out there should know and imbibe that thing in them, right? Mm -hmm. So Mariam, uh, also like we are in a platform which is very important uh, for us to share, mm -hmm. and especially with uh, girls, beauty, uh, beautiful girls like you, you know, who can create a huge impact on uh, people and also you must also have been a victim of this the, and the thing which i'm going to like you know focus on mm -hmm. which is uh, trolling social media trolling at uh, the age that we are in especially you young people are in mm -hmm. has become the social media has become too strong and positive and negative both in a very uh, huge scale so what uh, many girls out there are insecure about what makes them more insecure is also the huge humongous social trolling which takes place. You upload a picture and there are lots and lots of trollers which affect you mentally. So uh, you must also have gone through things like that. Have you ever gone through like social trolling kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I have been through social mm -hmm. trolling actually. Because, because you are a public image now somehow. So there goes a lot of social trolling. So you have handled them also for sure. So what message do you have for girls? What advice do you have for girls? Who are like who are a victim of social trolling, which makes them more insecure about themselves, and also message for social trollers. <laughs> uh, when I, when I, you know, just recently won my title mm -hmm. of Mega Miss North East, mm -hmm. you know, there was just a single comment. Okay. Which trolled me, just a single comment, okay. you know, and I felt so bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was because you know my lack of sleep, mm -hmm. you know, and okay. you know those. All yeah, those yeah. emotions yes, in me. Yes, I just yes. want stuff like that. That made me be. That made me so sensitive. I'm not uh -huh. a very sensitive person, mm -hmm. but you know, s extremely sensitive mm -hmm. to that comment. And I mm -hmm. actually I cried the whole night. I was okay. like, Am I not good enough? Mm -hmm. But then I realized that I'm only you know, I'm only hurting my own self mm -hmm. by listening to that comment. Like mm -hmm. that person has his own opinions. Mm -hmm. That person is, you know, that person himself. He's spreading a bad vibe, mm -hmm. you know, he's mm -hmm. creating his own dark vibe and aura around himself. Mm -hmm. you know, and all the peop girls who upload pictures on, you know, social media and mm -hmm. think, are they good enough, pretty enough to them, I would say that, you know, mm -hmm. do not ever com equal, you know, do not ever compare your own beautiful to perfection. Mm -hmm. So many girls, they have true, this misconception, true. you know, they uh -huh. think that, you know, if I have a tiny nose, if I have a big eyes, if I have, you know, full lips, mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. No, no, you're not beautiful like that. You're beautiful if you are yourself. Mm -hmm. Everybody, that's uniqueness, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. Beauty is everywhere, but unique, you are unique yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to, obviously, you have to, you know, enhance your mm -hmm. own features. You cannot just go and, you know, pick a feature that mm -hmm. I want this nose, I want this, that. Mm -hmm. No, you improve and enhance your own features. That is, yeah, yeah, makeup, yes. makeup is <laughs> there to enhance your own beauty, you know. Do that and never think that, never compare, you know, a perfect 
there might be few, you know, there might be few people, rare people who are extremely perfect in their features. Do not ever compare yourself to them. Because you're unique, trust me. There are so many people who became famous because of their unique looks, right? Mm -hmm, if they became the, you know, John Rick, you know, just a John Rick mediocre face, then they would have been, you know, just a sing simple, pa simple face in the crowd. But because they were unique, they got chose. Very, Jeez. very well said. <laughs> And coming to that, mm -hmm. the second part of my question is that uh, also all the strollers mm -hmm. are the ones who are insecure about themselves and they're trying to, you know, uh, satisfy themselves by trolling others. Mm -hmm. So what message you have for all those strollers out there who troll people and, you know, create a havoc in people's life and psyche? Well, I would first mm -hmm. like to clarify that there are yes. two kind of trolling, okay? Mm -hmm. not, I would not say trolling, mm -hmm. you know, but comments which might hurt a person mm -hmm. I would also advise the girls who want to be a you know public face do mm -hmm. not be too sensitive mm -hmm. if you're not sensitive you're not made for this you have to teach yourself not to be sensitive mm -hmm. you know and there are two kind of comments see one can be constructive criticism mm -hmm. you have to accept that mm -hmm. that's how you grow you know constructive criticism is very important and the second one is obviously mm -hmm plain basic trolling mm -hmm. and to those people I cannot help it you know you <laughs> can never help people who troll they you know you might never know they troll you know a bunch of people and they just want reaction yeah you can just tell you can just request them please don't troll right yeah, <laughs> yeah but you can the thing is that you yes. can never stop people uh -huh. from trolling that's why you have to accept it mm -hmm. there's beauty in everything you know just accept it just see it you know okay fine somebody is getting entertained okay i hope there are many uh, you know trollers out there if they are in the habit of that too. They might think twice now before commenting anything bad on somebody else, and uh, you know, uh, destroying their uh, you know they're destroying somebody else peace of mind, right? Yeah, yeah. So this kind of thing should be totally uh, get ridden away from the uh, social media world, which is very uh, having a negative impact on people, right? Yes. So Mariam, now we we'll also. Uh, like taking a break from all those uh, negative trolling and everything uh, I would like to now know from you that uh, our state of Arunachal Pradesh has many uh, inspirational women mm -hmm. be it in the pageant world be it in the politics be it in the you know society there are many women we can look up to so whom do you look up to and who is the woman or a lady uh, whom you admire the most uh, that's obviously my own mom. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. My Mar mom. Mariam, I would like to uh, like interrupt you for a while on that. I have also read that your mom is a very uh, well-known social worker. Yes, uh, she in is. In her place. So please add something to that also. We would like to know about your mother who is your inspiration. Uh, she runs many NGOs, several uh, NG NGOs. Okay. She has been al always that person who's, you know, very kind to people. Okay. She has always been kind to me. She's a person who can never be, you know, blatantly rude to anybody. Mm -hmm. She always knows, even if a person is, you know, clearly, even if a person does not clearly deserve her kindness, she still will be kind because she deserves, because she, de you know, believes in kindness and that the world needs mm -hmm. a lot sure. of kindness. Mm -hmm. My mom, she has sheltered many orphan kids mm -hmm. and many people who are in need of it, who are not financially stable, mm -hmm. many NGOs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where I got my bit of, you know, oh, okay. kindness and stuff like that. She taught me, she nurtured me, and obviously I admire her the most. She has been so, she has been through a lot in her life, she, but she's still happy and hardworking. Okay. And that's what I think, you know, it keeps me going. My mom, if my mom could go through that thing, like even I can go through everything. I mean, my life is, has been so simple, so easy so far. And touch wood, I'm blessed to say that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but my mom, she went through so, like, Okay. huge struggle mm -hmm. this is nothing like it's a cakewalk okay but still you're making her very proud so your mom also must be mm -hmm. very proud of you and do you uh, like uh, help her out in her NGOs do you uh, like visit her uh, like visit her NGOs and help her out in her like social works yeah I try to do my best but <laughs> okay. then again my mom is a very authoritative person you know she's very dominant and so am okay. I <laughs> I I'm what can I say? I mean, she, since she's my mom, I'm like very frank, obviously, with her. Like, I'm kind of a dominant person. She's too, and I'm quite young. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, I will do it on my own. But still, I try to help her a lot. You oh. know, all the people 
at this time, I even celebrated my birthday with them. Okay, how nice. So it's very nice to know <laughs> yes. that a very young girl, uh, like a very um, um, beautiful girl, like who have such big dreams, her inspiration is her mother. That's very uh, nice to know. And uh, give our regards to your mom from, yeah, sure. from our entire team as well, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you are again being very uh, humble about that. I'm quite sure that many people would be like, you know, watching you with those envious eyes wherever you go and wanting to take selfie with you, but maybe they are uh, quite uh, shy maybe to come uh, up front. So, uh, Mariam, uh, lastly, I would like to uh, tell you that there are many beautiful girls of our state, many aspiring uh, girls who are aspiring to take part in uh, many beauty pageants. We have seen this a uh, few years. There are many uh, people who have uh, taken beauty pageants, uh, beauty pageant, uh, you know, thing into a whole new new level, and uh, which may, gives a very good platform to our young ladies out here. So there are many people I'm sure watching you, following you. So any advice to those girls who are uh, vying to participate in beauty pageants? Uh, Miss Arunachal is also coming very soon, so I'm sure many girls are, you know, vying for this title. So any uh, message or any kind of uh, thing for them? Yes. The people who are, you know, um, preparing their self, mm -hmm. themselves for, you know, pageantry and stuff like that, I would give them my advice that, you know, give it your 100% and see if you have the potential. Mm -hmm. Because if you're an introvert, mm -hmm. if you're an introvert and you're a shy, camera shy person, mm -hmm. You know, minor things like those do really count. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. And girl, my girls from my natural mm -hmm. Pradesh, I would tell them that, you know, if you need my help, then I'm always here. You know, I would always give you advice and, you know, help you out. I would love to do my part and contribute. All the girls, you know, just be yourself, be prepared. It's, you know, I don't know, it's basically 90% homework and then you go on the stage. So that's very... Uh and that's very helpful coming from yes. you, Mariam. So all the girls, Mariam is openly, you know, uh, announcing to help you out yes. for any pageant coming up. So you can contact her in her social networking sites if you need any help for the pageants coming up. Yes. So you girls are lucky. <laughs> so Mariam, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, very best of luck for the entire team of Capital Digital Cable Network for your future endeavors. And we hope to see you soon in bigger, more pageants and make us uh, proud even more. So thank you very much for yeah, uh, you sparing for your time me. with us today. So that was the very beautiful, uh, talented, a beauty with brain, Mariam Longri, who was in our studio today. And I uh, couldn't uh, stop drooling over her. Uh, not only over her beauty, but of her uh, very uh, intellectual personality as well. We, the entire team of CDCN, wishes her the very best of luck for her future endeavors. So keep tuning to our show for meeting more such inspirational ladies especially. So until then, goodbye and take care.